Hello, family. This is Latoya Love, and I'm back with a quick word. Okay. Uh, thank you for all you uh, who subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Like this video so this word can reach people all across the nation. Um, God says that we must spread the good news. And I just want to say, Holy Spirit, come into this video. Help me speak to your children. God, we seek your love and presence in the holy name of Jesus. I said in the holy name of Jesus. Um, this just came on my spirit. And this wasn't even in this video. You know how people say GD? The Lord wants you to stop using his name in vain. And people say holy S-H-I. How you gonna put holy with that bad word? <laughs> God, I got mad this morning because the Uber driver didn't wait for me. And I immediately got angry because I was going to drop my car off. So um, I was really, really upset because it said from 5.55 to 6.10 is when they'll come. Well, she was like, I'm going to leave at 6 o'clock. So I screenshotted it last night because something told me. First of all, this basically giving me a time frame. You know, you don't even know what time you're going to be here but you know i asked the lord to help me be more punctual which it was i would have pulled up at like 604. so anywho long story short it's so crazy because she called me i couldn't answer and i tried to call back family okay okay i'm sorry family so i tried to call back right so you know, let me tell you i don't know why but the phone froze it wouldn't let me answer the phone um it wouldn't let me answer the phone. It wouldn't call. Then I heard somebody talking. And I'm like, you know how it gives you the indication that somebody is on the phone? And the phone thing was up. So my phone just totally froze. I had to restart it, which is crazy. But, and then when I got to work, I said, God, would please forgive me to being so angry. I was pissed, guys. And I was like, she could have waited for me. And I was like, I tip you. And I had to screenshot them and let them know, hey. This is what it said, so it charged me. But long story short, God said, use your words carefully. Be, use your words carefully. Be diligent about how you use it. He said, your word has such great power. It can bless you or wound you. And it can wound others, and it can affect others around you and what you are saying. So God told me to tell you today, just like he told me, be careful with your words. In the book of Proverbs, it says, a wise person thinks before they speak. He said, be, be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Glory be to God. And I, that's so crazy because I've just been talking about this. But the Lord wanted me to share with you today to be slow to speak, eager to listen. Because a lot of times we could be in court or anything and somebody be like, well, I'll pay you $30 an hour. You was like, well, uh, 17 you mess yourself up because we spoke too quick. And I believe, you know, as, as you're walking with God in preparation and the times, the people who times it is like with me, it's time for restoration. God is preparing you. you you've been prepared for this blessing. And we must be quiet because God didn't tell us to speak. We need to learn when to speak and when not to speak. Because it says that in Ecclesiastes too. It's the time to speak and it's the time not to speak. And, you know, when we can't, God will announce us. He will show people who we are. We've been in hiding for a long time, but the time is now. God is about to reveal um, the world to you, which, you know, everybody's been talking about you. And that's all she do is talk about, he or she talk about God, kings and queens. God is, is about to shake life about you, but he wants me to let you know to be careful with your words. God said, be careful with your words. They can wound you. They can hurt you. Okay. So I just want to let you guys know that. I love you guys, the love of Christ. Be careful with your words, says the Lord. He said, watch what you say and be slow to become angry. Because I can't even remember what I said. I was so angry. And I said, God, please forgive me. And then he spoke to me about it, which is so crazy. I was like, God, you really are with me. You really love me. You really got my back, chosen ones. Don't feel like you are alone. When you think that you are alone, you are not. God, chosen ones, he is with you. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, Lord, for correcting me. So, Father God, teach us your ways. Teach us your principles. Give us wisdom and insight this day, God. Help us. How can we glorify you, God? Help us to walk in your way, God, not our way. Let us lay our life down before you, God. Quit trying to do it yourself. 
God says, allow me, trust me. And instead of a crying about that situation, quit complaining about it, because you're trying to say, God, well, basically when we complain, we're saying, okay, you got some, we got something better for our life. When every bit of, of our detail in our life is detailed, I'm sorry, everything that we are, everything that's going on was allowed to build your character, to build you for the kingdom of Yah. So ask for forgiveness right now. God says to be humble. God, we ask that you help us to be humble. So God has said, humble yourself right now. Be slow to speak, eager to listen, and slow to become angry is what the Lord is saying, okay? God bless you all, and don't forget to help the needy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't forget to help the needy, okay? There's people out there that need help, so help them. It's cold. They don't have an umbrella. They're outside. Their clothes are wet, and you know how it feels when it's wet outside, and it's snowing and all that, but God says, help his needy, and he'll open up. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it, family. Like this video, God. Guys, so people can get this word. People can know what the Lord says today. Father, I ask that you stress this video around the nations, all my videos, so we can spread the gospel. And guess what? Don't look at your situation. Don't look at what's going on around you. Focus on God. He said, if you just focus on me, you won't have to worry about staying the course because he is the course. Oh, oh, I love it. He said he is the course. If you just focus on me, don't worry about it. Trust me. I got you. He just reconfirmed that he, trust, he got me in that court case. So we need to be quiet because when we open up our mouth, demons hear us. Them demons hear us. And they're going in full force to try to stop you. But remember, the devil is trying to distract you. So when you're walking with God, when you're praying, when you're reading the Bible, don't turn your phone off. Turn it down. Turn the volume off. Don't let nobody because the devil is trying to distract you. Refuse not to let him distract you, okay? God loves you. I love you guys with the love of Christ. Like this video. Subscribe to the family. God says, be slow to speak, eager to listen, and watch your words. They have such great power. He said, in chosen ones, come to him. He said, because this is a, a, a privilege to have, be able to. It was so, I, it's a privilege, chosen ones, to speak a thing and it happens. Everybody can't speak a thing and it happens. A demon can't speak things, you know, but... Don't say nothing negative, okay? It's what I'm trying to say. If you're saying negative, you know, if you want something to happen and you speak a negative, it's not going to happen positively. It's going to happen negatively is what I'm saying, okay? So if I confuse anyone, that's what I'm saying. If you say, oh, yeah, they said I got endometriosis, so yeah, girl. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm sick, girl. Yeah, uh-huh. No. Yeah, they said that I had endometriosis, but I rejected in the name of Jesus because God says I'm a healer, that I will, I'm healed by the stripes and his blood. So I'm believing and trusting in him on that. You say that every day. Keep saying, saying the word of God to the devil. Y'all, God loves y'all. Allow him to shine his light through y'all, in and through you. When people look at you, they need to see Jesus. Will you allow God to be glorified in and through your life today? God is asking you, will you allow me to be glorified in your life? Blessings on top on blessings and blessings and blessings. When you're poor, you're blessed. Because God in wisdom, all that he provides riches and honor in Jesus' name. That is not your father's good will for you to be broke, busted, and disgusted. And walking around here, it's lacking. Okay? God loves you. So watch what you say. Say, a spirit of poverty, die by fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I reverse the curse and send it back to its sender. Spirit of death, die by fire of the Holy Ghost every day. Send those de demon demonic spirits where they go belongs to the gates of hell. Y'all like this video? It's raining. God said suddenly, and suddenly sometimes it stops. That's how God is about to do in your life. A uh, suddenly, glory be to God. I love you guys. Bye bye.